Hello and welcome. You are watching Africans in London TV in short, AIL TV, and I'm a man called Jay. Yes, so now we are talking movies. As you have just seen the trailer, AIL TV at the movies. Yes, we are everywhere. And that's why we are called Africans in London TV. We are here to bring you news and entertainment. Uh, the whole shebang, we are bringing it to you. Now, what, what, uh, you know, what, uh, what brings me to uh, to feel happy about this? Um, I watched Apostle Do Good, series one. In fact, I was there at the launch, somewhere in Greenwich. And now, the guys have come back with Apostle Do Good too. And now, what are my thoughts here? Technically, things are getting better. But uh, on, on that note, we will leave the critics to carry on with their observation. But you know why? I have been saying, I used to be a Christian long time ago. And um, I decided just to leave church, man. It's like long thing. Now, you know the reason why? Pastors, man, I don't have any grudge against pastors, but I'm against those who pretend to be, to be pastors when they are not. And in fact, this movie here actually explains that. As, as you will see, you will see the uh, the director and, and the executive producer of this movie will we, we, we'll be talking up slightly about what is happening in the churches. And you will also see many actors and actresses, but of course, these days we say actors. They will be talking about their same problem. So for that, I will have just to leave it, but I want uh, to leave you with that. I just want to tell you um, hey, what I saw. I was not there by myself. Um, I was with Halima Ahmed. She was on the red carpet. That's where we were. And that's, and that's where this video is going to be about. And yeah, we want to see, to connect with the actors, the organization and stuff like that. Good job. But before we go to Halima Ahmed, let us show you just a small bit of Apostle Do Good. Come on. Oasis of love. Chapel of, of all my problems finished. Oh, praise the Lord. It's so nice to have everyone back. With the return of Apostle Do Good, trust me, it's going to be a sight time. Yes, <laughs> yes. Apostle Do Good is coming back. Yes. Oh, yes. Oasis of love. So they got you! <laughs> Okay, girls, apparently this Sunday, there's some dignitaries coming. You don't have to stay away from service. You have to fight for your husband's church. The church belongs to the Lord. Let the police finish their investigation. After everything he did to people's daughters, someone is bound to want to see him pay for his sins by dying. I am innocent. The apostle and the church are under attack. Hey. Fornication is a sin. You are to be my wife. This one is not, not fornication per se. Listen to me. I am ready to give anything. Yes. I'm ready to give the world of everything. That day you went to ask Sister Grace to get water for Buddy. Was there anyone else with you in the kitchen? You finally managed to kill Apostle Dugut. You killed him. You killed Apostle Dugut. Leave me alone. Are you ready to do it for real this time? I'm willing to do anything, Pastor. <laughs> Huh? 
the Holy Spirit revealed to me. Esosa and I are getting married. This man! Oh, Hey, Prince! Oh, one J is here. Come on, get out of here! You have a woman pregnant in your house. This is not your marriage. Let me deal with Mandy where I know how to. Your first fruit is what the faithful one demands. I have already sacrificed my mother. We need to invite God to the oasis of love church. Are we ready for this? Yes, so, yes, so, in fact, don't worry about the coming soon. The movie now is streaming as we speak on Mera, is it Mera Stream? Look it up. In fact, the director or the executive office of, of uh, one of the, one of the, uh, the official uh, of Mera Stream will be here. You will see, we'll be talking later on uh, on the video. But anyway, now. As you can see, the film is fantastic. And now the subjects are getting better. Now they are, they are getting to address issues that many people sweep under the carpet. We always hear pastor this, pastor this, and some of them, they want to elevate themselves even... Of, of, uh, they, they, they want to be next to God. Anyway, anyway look, look, my job here is actually to tell you what happened or to show you what happened. Now, we are going to go to the red carpet where Alima Ahmed did a very good job. She was there standing for a, how many hours? Maybe one or two hours, I, I should say, or, or maybe less, but I don't know. So, we are going to go to Halima Ahmed to see how she welcomed the guests and who turned up. But I can tell you, plenty of guests turned up. And of course, some of them, they were just, they came just to support particular actors. Well, I'm not going to reveal that. Uh, the video will show. Am I biased? No, of course not. I'm just happy just to see somebody from East Africa doing raising the flag of, say, for example, Kenya. Well, something is coming. So on to Alima Ahmed. And enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've watched bits of it. I've watched excerpts of it, but I'm looking forward to it. Harry Busana. And how far are you coming from tonight? Hello, good evening. Nice Gentleman here tonight. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Please. Hi. Do you want to to have you tonight? Sure. Coming from, if you just come on this way while they're... Hello. Hi, sir. How far? Hello. What? Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Lady here tonight. She's looking... Well, I'm coming from tonight. Uh, good presentation. Good Miss, good evening. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you a pastor in reality? No. Good evening. How far are you coming Hi. from tonight? How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Tonight. Nice. Ladies. Hi. So it's not just oh, going to be person behind Apostle D Yes. I'm from Kenya, as you can see. Okay. Behind this movie, she's here with us. Hi, Ms. Toyin, how are you? I'm excited. I can imagine. <laughs> it was um, a rocky start because we haven't done anything in two years. Wow. So this is the first outing in two years. Good evening, sir. Oh, really? We've just been talking Mary Stream. I've actually okay. been saying to Miss Toyin Mo, this is a wonderful opportunity that uh, ha this Apostle Do Good movie, oh, okay. it's actually going on live already. Oh, okay. Yeah, as we're speaking, it's going. People are already watching. Fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. I've done, I've done about 10 um, Hollywood movies. Oh, they're way in, on their way in. But too far, I'm like... <laughs> Represent me and your thank you. Okay, my name is Dakbo Okpainka. I'm an actor and a film producer. And um, in Apostle to Do Good too, I play the character Pastor Joseph. So you are the pastor who is abusing. No, Who's what? 
are you the person who is abusive in, the, in this movie or, or you have got several ones? Yes, we have several pastors in the movie with different characters. But mine is like a, is a, is a pastor that is actually very in love with the God and the scripture and um, he's trying everything to, go the, to walk the straight and narrow way. But circumstances and situations happen to him in the church and which he has to deal with. So he has a lot of domestic issues. Uh, but when it comes to church, it's plain like um, everything is all right. Like we always do wear a mask in church. Like we're, we're, all, we're all right. We got it together. So, okay, this is a very uh, interesting subject mm. because many people, they think that you need to go to church to find peace. You need to go to church to, to find goodness. But mm. then you have got pastors now who are doing the other way. So maybe mm. they are walking with Satan. Can I say that? No, I don't think we can say that because um, when you, as, Christ, as Christians, we were never promised that things would be perfect. And as Christians, we are still in the flesh. So we are still learning and growing. That is why Paul said we have to constantly renew our mind. So as Christians, because a lot of people, when they see a Christian, oh, I'm born again, they believe the moment they're born again, they change person, they have a new character. But that is not what even God promised. And that's not what is in the scripture. Except people have uh, misquoted the scripture so many times. The Bible never said that. When we get born again, it is actually your spirit in God that gets revived and gets born again. Now you now have the responsibility to renew your mind. Renewing your mind means study the scripture. Gradually you change, but it takes a long process. A long process. And even say that change, because we are still in the flesh and we are still in the world, there is still some things that we cannot get away with. But God is merciful enough to forgive us of all our sins and our trespasses. Okay, so... What do you, how do you deal with the pastors who are abusing? Should, should you campaign to de definitely to take them out of church or never even to practice priesthood? Um, I think that one, I don't know what I can say to them because, like I said, everyone is learning. Even pastors are not perfect. We make a mistake to think that pastors are perfect, but uh, they are not perfect. They, all, they have a responsibility from God to teach the word. They have to perfect the word and teach the word. But still they're fleshed because they're still battling. That is why Paul, even Paul the apostle says, the things I want to do, I struggle to do to them. But the things I don't want to do, I end up doing them. Who will deliver me from this body of flesh? So there is no perfection in Christianity until Christ comes. So the thing is we need to stop putting a lot of responsibilities on pastors. They are still in the flesh. So in real life, Yes. Because you are speaking like a preacher. <laughs> are, you, are you a preacher or are you thinking going into a priesthood? No, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a pastor. I'm just a student of the word. Okay. Now, yes. there is a lady coming here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, please don't go. Because, yeah, yeah, we're going to talk to you. We are going to talk That is our producer, T.Y. Moore. Okay. Wow. So okay. then you seen it. Um, I am following. <laughs> Thank you so much. I would say that the courage comes from God, first of all, because um, there, is a, there, is a, there is a consciousness in all of us that, that desires, you know, something better than us, where we are. And I would say that the God consciousness is the first thing. And then, uh, 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 um, how would I call it? Uh, a concern for the decadence in um, the present day charismatic movement or churches. There is a street in London, an area called um, Old Kent Road and Ilderton Road. And you would have all kinds of mushroom churches, over 50 on one street. And um, you hear of bizarre things like pastors having a harem of 14 year old girls and um, secret abortions uh, covered up by their, their wives, the mommy geos, in the name of do not disgrace the church. And then you hear of pastors who, um, who, who hit on their wife, 
violently beat their wives, domestic violence. And then there's this question of sexuality. These are things that the African community does not want to talk about. You know, we have been hushed and told, touch not my anointed, do, my, do not my prophets any harm. Even the scandal about money, you know, how you were, you were coerced, bullied into bringing your tithe and offering you know, and, and, and demands, and people are selling their homes and going to give the money to the man of God, you know, and all of those things are a big concern. I am completely forgetting a film made like this, but your campaign, now, what is the next step? You have made the movie which actually talks about uh, uh, these abuse. I, I was talking to Kako here yeah. because I've known him a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was saying, should you campaign for abusive pastors to get kicked out of the church and never to come back to preaching? What do you think? I think we should just campaign. Woo, come, come. This is one of my cast. Um, she's just coming in. Yeah, so. <laughs> come, come, come. So I would say that the campaign is a wake up call for what I call. Um, sleeping, docile, comatose um, 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 uh, church members to wake up, you know, and smell the coffee. God is not far. God is within us. Call on to God. He would hear you in the corner of your room. When you gather together to pray, it should be to edify you, not to be put into another kind of bondage. And learn to read the Bible yourself. So the call for action is for people to wake up, you know, and, 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 and be set free from bondage bondage of control, mind control games, you know, and all kind of things, yeah. So, okay, uh, who, who, writes, uh, <laughs> who writes, who writes the script? Yeah, yeah. Who is the script writer? Um, yeah, I write my stories, and my script writer is Goretti uh, Eitbu. Goretti is from Cameroon. You know, I met her a few years back. Excellent script writer, and she, um, she, when I tell her the stories, we sit together. She has an amazing way of interpreting, you know, the dialogues and everything in a captivating way. So, Goretti has been the scriptwriter for season one and season two. Hi, yes. Some of my cast are just coming in. So, I'm just going to introduce them and I'm, then I'm going to leave, you know. Hello, Harper Bondi. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah, that's Mustafa Sholak yeah, Bade. My name is Mustafa Sholak Bade. And this is Alabala Tunde. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, he played the character Pastor Joshua. A professional pastor. Yeah. <laughs> and she played... The, the anointed pastor. The helper <laughs> sent. Who is the abusive one in the movie? Sorry. No, he's, a, he's the diabolical one. He's a diabolical one. Oh, okay, no problem. He's a diabolical one. So, yeah. sorry, can we start now, that? she came to snatch someone's husband, okay. and, and she came with a child that was not his. Oh, go you, know, you hear a lot about <laughs> all these DNA stories about telling men, yeah, you know, yeah. giving men babies that are not theirs, mm -hmm. you know. So, she played the role of the seductress. Doesn't she look beautiful? I cast it well, oh, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> and she played the role of the seductress in his life. Um, Pastor Joseph, you know. Okay. I, I, I really hope that the movie really gets to be featured in the wider Yeah. Um, people can watch it from tonight. You can watch the full season. You know, the box office is, uh, box set is available on uh, merostream.com. And you can watch it on your tablet, on your phone. You can watch it at home. You can watch it right now. Yeah. Just log on to www.merostream.com. Actually, I was talking to the, uh, I think the gentleman from Merostream. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to approve you because Thank you. many people, the movie industry, writers, they are all chasing Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> so tell okay. me, why have you, have you decided to put your movie on Merostream? Um, Merostream um, has a unique. Um, Component that I like, they are celebrating, acknowledging, and promoting um, African movies. You know, movies that tell our stories. You know, oftentimes we see people from different countries. You know, American, the rest of it. They come and they want to tell our stories and they interpret it in their own understanding. 
you know, but it is our story, our platform, our TV. <laughs> That's it. We are better than that. We are better than that. Thank you. Um, okay. You can, you can they want to. Sorry, sir. Uh, these are my star actors. You can interview them. Yeah. Okay, you want to do the two together? Um, what's that? The, um, the, no, 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 the looking room will be different. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I should do this one first, then. Yeah, it should be good, too. So you are the abusive pastor. Uh, well, I am the good and the bad pastor. I'm in between. Um... They initiated me anyway, you know. I'm a good pastor, but um, I was told if I want to be rich, I have to be initiated. So, <laughs> okay, okay. So, the, should we say you are walking along with the, the guy with the horns? Eh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm this um, this pastor that uh, actually, um, you know, in everything. As they say, there is court. So I'm one of the court, the court pastor <laughs> that are doing this bad, bad, bad thing. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I, call it I call it walking along with the man with the horns. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My name is Olainka Quadri. I uh, am not in the Pastor Do Good, but I'm the... Uh, Operations uh, Director for Merostream. Uh, our platform, Merostream, uh, will be the exclusive streaming engine or uh, platform for Apostle Do Good 2, Season 2. So come on board, log on to Merostream, www.merostream.com, and watch Apostle Do Good 2. And download Apostle Do Good 1 as well while you're at it. Thank you. I find it very interesting you have got a student service. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, many people would be saying we want to market our films on Apple TV, uh, Netflix, or yes. whatever. Why Merostream? I think it's important uh, for Merostream to come online. There's a number of platforms that are Western owned. They're major American, British, or European corporations. We haven't got a home-made, home-built streaming platform. And this is what we've got in Merostream. We came together, a massive team of Pan-Africans from Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, and Morocco, for all you care, and we built this platform because we believe Africa needs a voice. We don't think we have to pander to Western uh, um, uh, streaming platforms to get our voice out there. We can tell our own stories. We don't need Netflix. We don't need YouTube. We don't need Amazon. Africa, stand up. Merostream is all about Africa standing up. And we are in. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we do. It's your boy again, Nelly King, Nollywood actor. Um, and the premiere of uh, Post to Do Go Season 2. And I play the character of um, the King Afraid. Trust me. And we are the premiere right now. The red carpet can be rolling the red carpet right now. So you guys need to be here. It is what it is, man. Nelly King's baby. And you guys can find check me out on my handles on Instagram, you know. And Nelly King's 01. Facebook is Nelly King's. That's N E L I K I N G S 01. Love you all. I'm a boss in the house, you know. Hey, if I call you, they will go fear. Hey! Okay. I'm the boss behind you. Cheers, bro. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for this. Well, my name is Lydia Tetolet, and I am from Kenya. I don't really need to introduce myself. You can see my dress is all Kenya. My bracelet is all Kenyan. And my dress actually says, Najivunia Kwam Kenya. That means I'm proud to be a Kenyan. So today is a Postal Do Good Season 2. The, the, the series and I'm, my, my part in this, I'm a pastor's wife. I'm actually an abused pastor's wife. So that was in season one. And in season two, I actually managed to divorce him. So that's season two. And then season three is, always, is also coming out, but I'm not going to expose season three yet. 
So, yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. The reason why my, my, my part means a lot is because as an abused wife in church, we have a lot of that happening. We have a lot of pastors who are actually abusing their wives or wives abusing their husbands. But because it's a church, they say, oh, in church, you can't do this. You can't say if you're not happy, you know, just leave, just keep on praying, praying. You'll pray until the day you're in a coffin. You know, because there's a lot of things that happen in church because church is just like a community. Just think of the community you live in or the society. You have every single thing happening, the good, the bad, the ugly and the evil. And that's exactly how church is. So if we accept that, that this is how church is, then I think church will be a good setting. But all this pretense that when you enter church, everybody's holier than thou. Come on, get real. My pastor is an abusive man and he's the man of God in church. And that happens in reality. So guys... Check yourselves out. Don't be deceived. I'm a, I'm a church is to fung as well. Ah, to see fung. Okay, so somebody actually asked me, or oh, should we close all the churches? And I said, no, we shouldn't because some churches are actually good. We actually good, we have good pastors out there, good reverence, good whatever you want to call them. And some churches are actually really good, but most of them are not good. So that's why I said, don't be deceived. Know God for yourself. That will help you. Yeah. So, so Julius, yeah. my question is very simple. Okay. You know, uh, you were here to come and have a look what is going on with the Apostle. Be good too. I want to ask you, where do you see now the quality of African movie making? Now we are, be we are beginning to see many uh, African movies on Netflix. But also now they have got their own streaming services. T tell us, I, I know you've been asked who uh, you are here to support anyone in particular, or you are here to support the African movie making. The yeah. Is yours. yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, I'm here to support uh, African movies. Uh, I, I've for many years followed very keenly the production of African films and it's really gone beyond what it used to be. It's great productions we have seen right now from the growth of Nollywood, growth of Gollywood in Ghana and also Kenyan movies, East African movies. It's really getting better every time. We never used to have a lot of access to uh, screening of movies globally, but now we have. With the presence of Netflix and many other outlets that are street screaming, streaming movies or showing movies, the, the growth of the industry is going to a better place. I mean, you asked what about the future? The future seems to be very great. And you see, now we are in London. We are here seeing a pre movie premiere by African actors, actresses and producers and producers and directors. So it's great to see this growth. It's good to be in London, being in a premiere of a movie by Africans and also with an African theme, which is fantastic. Okay, now, uh, now let us now dig, dig. You are from Kenya. You, you have, uh, you've got Kenyan actors. And, uh, well, we call them actors now. We don't say actors. Whom are you supporting? I'm here to support uh, Lydia Tate Olet. She's a Kenyan. In terms of um, dynamism, she's done quite a lot within the community, and it's good to be here today to see our movie, what she has done. She's been featured on this great movie, Apostle Do Good. You know, it's great to be here for her, and I'm happy to support the entire team as well because it's a great movie. Great initiative. Thank you very much. Yes, um, one of the things that I've come to appreciate about the Kenyan uh, in the diaspora, uh, we're actually talking of uh, Kenyans who are well over 200,000. So that more or less uh, gives uh, a diverse uh, you know, background uh, in terms of skill sets. So one of the things that Kenya High Commission would like to do is to ensure that uh, we tap those talents, uh, develop them, and uh, possibly ensure that uh, there is transfer of these skill sets into Kenya. So you as the High Commissioner, you are representing the, the nation of Kenya. What message do you send up, up there in the world? Well, um, what we want to encourage, um, we do appreciate the fact that uh, over the last two years, or call it two years, yes, there's been a great challenge uh, associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. However, we would like to appeal to all Kenyans 
to soldier on. Uh, we know we are yet to reach the numbers that we wish to reach in terms of uh, vaccines because we are talking of uh, not only safety here in the UK, we are talking about safety globally. And uh, when other countries are left behind in terms of vaccination, uh, we don't expect uh, the uh, pandemic to really uh, disappear. So uh, I appeal uh, for collective efforts, uh, specifically so uh, the United Kingdom to continue supporting Kenya in terms of providing vaccines. And uh, as soon as a drug is discovered again, we would like this rolled out, uh, not only to Kenya, but uh, many other African countries where we may not have the, the facilities that uh, the UK has. Now, uh, this is the last question, but I'm sorry to ask you, you know, I get excited. No, no, please. Like East Africans. Yes. Now, Lydia Let Olet Tet is one of the Kenyan uh, person who is actually flying the Kenyan flag, mm -hmm. is actually putting on events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, seeing her in a movie like this, mm -hmm. what, what, what does it do to you? What, how do you feel? Uh, I must really confirm that... Uh, Lydia Olet is a great person in terms of uh, her dedication towards uh, promoting not only Kenya but Africa as a whole. Uh, we are really proud of her and we really um, we view her as one of the greatest ambassadors, as line, our you know, first line ambassadors in terms of uh, promoting uh, Kenyan interests uh, in the United Kingdom. Um, well, once again, uh, my name is uh, Alan Wawerum Boru, Minister of Councillor One from the Kenya High Commission London, and thank you very much. So that was the launch of Apostle Do Good 2. Now you can see things are improving. Stories are getting more juicier. The technicalities is getting there. But most importantly, these guys, they are not waiting for Netflix. They are not waiting for Amazon. They are not waiting for uh, Apple TV. Uh, they are streaming straight on Mirror Stream. Uh, no, Mirror Stream. Google it. It's, it's right now. It's ready, 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 ready to watch. Guys, thank you very much. And thank you very much for watching. You've been watching AIL TV. And I'm a man called Jay. Until then... Listen, you can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. It's AIL TV Online YouTube, that's what it's called. If you find something you like, tick. And if you cannot find anything you are looking for, give us a shout. We will actually do it. Until then, thank you very much. I'm sure you have enjoyed that. You will even enjoy the movie more. Uh, until then, thank you. But, oh, I have to actually th to say thank you to Halima Ahmed, who did a very great job on the, on the, on the red carpet. So, I know I'm repeating, I'm going backwards, because, you see, I don't have a, a, a script. I, I like to improvise, because I'm a jazz musician. Anyway, ciao.